హలో వ్యూవర్స్ మనం ఈరోజు ఉన్నాము హైదరాబాద్ షామీర్ పేటలోని లియోనియర్ రిసార్ట్స్ లో జరుగుతున్నటువంటి తొంభై ఎనిమిదవ ఏఐయు యాన్యువల్ జనరల్ మీట్ అండ్ నేషనల్ కాన్ఫరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్స్ ట్వంటీ మనం ఈ రోజు ఉన్నాము హైదరాబాద్ షామీర్ పేటలోని లియోనియర్ రిసార్ట్స్ లో జరుగుతున్నటువంటి తొంభై ఎనిమిదవ ఏఐయు యాన్యువల్ జనరల్ మీట్ అండ్ and i kushagra sharan from ifhe university welcome you all again to technical session 5 future of work and skill development in today's rapidly evolving socio economic scenario the future of work and skill development emerges as a critical theme national that demands conference of vice attention and strategic foresight now i would like to call upon stage dr kalsi sir dr kalsi will be the chair of the session Dr. Kalsi is the chairman of National Council of Vocational Education and Training, Ministry of Physical Development and Entrepreneurship, Government of India. He was earlier chairman of Punjab State Police Complaints Authority after superannuating as additional CS. Our first speaker for this session is Professor Dr. Balvender Shukla. She is the Vice Chancellor, Amiti University, Noida. She has over 22 years of experience in organization such as Shimnet Group, Intera Software, IIHT System, and Amitri Group of Institution. I now move on to our second speaker, Professor Raj Nehru, Vice Chancellor, Sri Vishwakarma Skill University, Gurugram, Haryana. We welcome you, sir. Our third speaker for the day is Professor Satya N. Gupta, Secretary General, ITU, APT Foundation of India. We welcome you, sir. I now move on to our next speaker, Mr. Praveen Divedi. Mr. Devedi serves as the Senior Vice President, Public Sector and Public Policy Affairs at Webox, an ETS company. We welcome you, sir. Secretary General, sir, IT. we request you to start the session. Thank you. Very distinguished speakers on the dais, AIU, Honorable Vice Chancellors. I see a few people from the companies as well. So what we'll be doing, since we are talking about future of work, and skill development. I'll cover it with the perspective of G20, whatever we decided in G20, and how we are integrating skills into every aspect of education, whether it's school education or higher education. So here, specifically, I'll cover the higher education part. 1AD, we were contributing almost 25 to 30% of the global GDP. China was contributing another 25%. So together we will controlling about 55-60% of the global GDP and that is going to come again. And I would like to now invite the other speakers to give their thoughts on skill development, future of work and skill development. Thank you so much. Very good morning. Many thanks to AIU for giving this opportunity to me. You know, yesterday I was at the symposium at Deloitte and the uh, way they were talking about why the higher education institution cannot complete the BTEC in two years and give the two remaining years to the industry for doing the project-based learning and the skill development so that industry does not waste time in training the uh, graduates and you give whatever the student do in the industry, you give the credit for that and give them the four-year BTEC degree. That's the kind of demanding industry is coming, but the education institution not to bow down to this kind of demand, but at the same time working on the curriculum, which imparts the knowledge which is the most important, and then also add on the skills for the, that particular area, but the knowledge is forever and need to be uh, gained from time to time. But the skills can be de developed for any job or any role at very shorter pace for that. And that's all from my side. Thank you very much. Good morning. And this topic has already been covered with complete elaboration, detail by Dr. Kalsi and my colleague, uh, Professor Balvinder. So I'm not going to get into that because that will make repetition. So let me share a couple of examples. 
the slides that mr kalsi uh, presented slide number 22 is the crux of uh, everything that he has shown to us 50% you can go and the flexibility of 50% to skills multi entry multi exit i think most of the people need to understand this multi entry multi exit it's not simply that you know at the 4.5 to 5 level you can make an exit with a ug certificate or a ug diploma it's not so simple if we go by a vertical mobility and then exit it require in the vocational model it requires at each level to be mapped to a relevant job role i think india can achieve that 2047 dream of becoming a developed nation thank you ug certificate or a ug diploma it's not so simple uh, good afternoon everyone uh, it's indeed a great pleasure and honor to be here and for that i'm really thankful to aiu as the session is on the future of work and future of skills so what is the future of work it has become very clear now it is very very uncertain very very unpredictable and i can tell it is flexible and dynamic and uh, you, if we go by new normal close during covid it is also called work from anywhere wfa so it is not working from office neither it is just working from home it will be working from anywhere and that is what it makes it very flexible and dynamic thank you now we will have commencement of unique initiation of aiu v box skill report i request honorable chairperson of the session dr kalsi to come and sit by clicking home, the button and i request mr praveen divedi senior vice president what public sector and public policy of affairs at vbox to accompany i also request and president aiu professor gd sharma and secretary general aiu dr pankaj mittal madam now we will to join us for the commencement from home hi uh, good afternoon everyone uh, Uh, the last year we had a participation of 3.88 lakh students uh, whom we could reach out to this year uh, all of our partners including cii aict aiu uh, we have all vouched for going at least to a million students and there definitely i would need all of your help now uh, when we look at the, the what we are going to talk do we are talk here is the emerging trends and emerging trends currently till date if you look at 5 million students would have taken this and this is the cycle when we started way back in 2013 how aiu aiu came how other partners like aict and google came in then we have ets uh, this is best news which we have in last 10 years ets the world's largest research company and assessment company has acquired vbox in 2023 november so we are ets vbox now thank you so much now the house AIU is open came. for question answers first question is how to show away the social media which is impending the learning in the university professor krishnath pandey ji so i would like to say why show away the social media why don't you harness social media and make it part of the teaching process learning process not teaching process but learning process so i think now the time has come when we must understand our millennials especially the generation z and the generation next we were trying to find out their attention span and we found that their attention span was not more than 7 minutes even for very mature people i would now like to call upon the stage dr keshav sharma sir vc vice chancellor ekfai university baddi himachal pradesh to felicitate dr nirmal jeet singh sir and mr devedi sir I would like to request Dr. Bijoy Singh sir Vice Chancellor Ekfai University Mizoram to facilitate our speakers of the session of the session Good morning everyone today we have the privilege of having a distinguished guest among us padma shri kola kaludi inak garu former vice chancellor of sri venkateshwara university tirupati sir we are honored by your presence here 
we would request you to kindly share a few memories with N.J. Yashashvi, sir. I associated myself with a great soul, Dr. Yashashvi, who happened to be the founder of ICFI Foundation for Higher Education. I worked closely with him for about 10 to 12 years. I was part of his brainchild, part of ICFI Foundation, C.P. Brown Academy. It's a great occasion for me to see all of you here. I'm happy ICFI hosted this program here. And I'm also happy AIU could conduct its 98th annual meet in Hyderabad under the aegis of ICFI institution. I'm grateful to all of you. I'm happy to be with you. I thank you all of you. And I also pay my gratitude to our great soul, my good friend, Mr. SSV. Best of luck to all of you. Thank you so much for giving me this time to be with you. Thanks a lot. Namaste. We would request Professor G.D. Sharma to present a token of gratitude to Padmashri Kola Kaludi Nokji on behalf of AIU. Forward. Give me this. Madam, Shubharani Yashashvi is presenting a token of our love to Padmashri Kola Kaludi Inokji. To Padmashri. As we gathered here today for the valedictory session of the 98th AIU Annual General Meet and National Conference of the Vice Chancellors, organized by Association of Indian Universities and hosted by ICFI Hyderabad. Now, we have among us Professor Elis Ganesh, Vice Chancellor, ICFI Foundation of Higher Education, Hyderabad, on the stage. Now, I would like to invite Sri Upendra Tripathi, former IS, first Director General of the International Solar Alliance, Professor G. D. Sharma, President AIU and Vice Chancellor at USTM Meghalaya. Dr. Pankaj Mittal, Secretary General, AIU, Dr. S. Ramadevi Pani, Editor, University News, Dr. Alok Mishra, Joint Secretary, AIU, to come on stage for the valedictory session. Dr. Jayanti Ravi, IS Secretary, Ma'am will be, Auroville Foundation will be joining this session online. Now, we would request Professor Elis Ganesh, sir, to address the gathering of the dignitaries. Namaste and uh, good afternoon to all the uh, participants. I hope the three days or about two and a half days that we have spent together would have above all helped us forge very strong institutional friendships among ourselves. In fact, one of the guidance points given in the recent new education policy, the national education policy, and also later uh, underscored by the UGC, uh, I had the opportunity for a brief conversation uh, with the chairperson, and uh, he mentioned that uh, if charity begins at home, it's only fair that we forge intra-country institutional partnerships, perhaps as strongly as we can, uh, in, in concur concurrently with the inter-country institutional partnerships. And I'm sure this forum would have given us that opportunity. Welcome you to this valedictory function. And uh, we look forward to a great association in the times to come. Institution to institution, in India, by India, for India, of India, with India, through India. Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Thank you very much. Forum would have given we us now that request Dr. S. And, uh, Ramadevi Pani. Editor, University News, for the presentation of the report. Good afternoon, uh, the August gathering. Honorable President, Association of Indian Universities. With the permission of the chair, I'm presenting uh, the report. Three days, uh, Vice Chancellors meet. Uh, we have conducted the 98th annual general meet and national conference of Vice Chancellor 2024. 
on the theme higher education at 2047 during April 15 to 17, 2024. It was hosted by the ICWAI Foundation for Higher Education Hyderabad in blended mode. Uh, the chief guest of the inaugural function was Sri C. P. Radhakrishnan, Honorable Governor of Telangana, Honorable Governor of Jharkhand, and Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. The distinguished guests on the dais included Professor L. S. Ganesh, Vice Chancellor, Equi Foundation, uh, Dr. Pankaj Mittal, Secretary General, AIU, Professor Vinay Kumar Pathak, Vice President, AIU, uh, and uh, Professor Madhavi Garigaparthi, uh, Associate Professor, uh, Equi Foundation, and of course our President, Professor G. D. Sharma, was there to preside over the session. Uh, the session began with ceremonial lighting of the lamp. Professor N L S Ganesh, Vice Chancellor, host university, present delivered the welcome address. He motivated the session by adding quotes that emphasized on imagination rather than competence. He suggested that innovative ideas need to be applied in higher education for the benefit of society. This is in brief about what has happened in all these three days. And uh, the report was written by the research scholar of this university, Ms. Priyanka, Priyanka and her group. I thank her. And I thank the audience and the August uh, members on the dais for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Education for the now, we would request Madam Shobharani Yashvashvi to please come forward. I would request Professor Elis Ganesh, sir, please come forward. Ma'am and sir will be jointly felicitating Sri Upendra Tripathi ji. Will be Before we part, we would request everyone please stand for the national anthem. चल जल धित रंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे I would request all the research scholars of ICFI Business School to please come forward for a group photo. I would request all the team, ICFI, please come forward for a group photo. Research scholars of to please come photo.